Since 2020, Charleston, South Carolina is growing at a pace that is six times faster than the rest of the United States. As of 2023, there were nearly 830,000 people in the Charleston Metro and 30 more move here every single day. But why is this? Be sure you stick around to the end because a lot of these statistics will surprise you, just like they surprised me when I was doing research for this video. Hey, what's up y'all? It's Sean, your Charleston Realtor. Now, you might already live here in Charleston or you're thinking about relocating here, but what is causing literally everyone and their cousin to move here? There's a ton of reasons, but in this video, I break down five reasons as to why Charleston is blowing up. So at number one, we have a growing tech and medical sector. Private companies like Boeing, Bosch, Volvo, and Mercedes-Benz all have major facilities here. In fact, Boeing is the largest private employer in the entirety of the Charleston area, accounting for over 6,500 jobs. Volvo is expanding their facilities in Ridgeville and will bring another 1,300 jobs to the area by the end of 2024. And any major city has to have hospitals. Charleston has some impressive medical facilities in Roper St. Francis, as well as Trent Health, accounting for nearly 10,000 jobs combined. Roper is actually expanding into North Charleston and planning for a mass hospital to be built in the next couple of years. This is on top of another 17,000 healthcare jobs in the Medical University of South Carolina system and another 3,000 in the VA medical system. There's also a ton of manufacturing jobs and facilities in the area, which is further boosting career possibilities. Unlike traditional cities in the American South, Charleston boasts some big name employers with high earning potential and career mobility. Now, the second reason why people are continuing to move to Charleston is probably my favorite. Charleston is a military city through and through, going back to the country's founding and to the present day is no different. Up until the 1990s, Charleston was home to a massive Navy base and Navy shipyard but this was actually shut down after the Cold War ended. The closure of the naval shipyard and the naval base was described at the time as the biggest financial hit to Charleston since the American Civil War. But you couldn't keep the Navy out of Charleston forever. In 1998, the Navy shifted its nuclear power training facilities to the Naval Weapons Station in Goose Creek, just to the north of Charleston, and along with it, about 10,000 personnel. This place has a special place in my heart because it's the reason why I first moved to Charleston. And it's also the reason why the Navy brought me back to it. What many people don't know is that every nuclear operator and every naval officer on all of our submarines and aircraft carriers live in Charleston for over a year at the beginning of their careers. And many come back to be instructors. The Naval Weapon Station is also home to the Naval Information Warfare Center in Atlantic, which is called NIWIC for short, and it was previously called SPAWAR. But this is actually the largest individual employer in all of Charleston. Now, the Naval Weapon Station is just part of Joint Base Charleston, which also comprises of Air Force, Army, and Coast Guard elements. The Air Force also has a pretty massive presence, with the 628th Air Base Wing being the overall base administrators. The 437th Airlift Wing, which is headquartered in Charleston, operates 41 C-17 aircraft. The Coast Guard has a large installation at the former Navy base, with six military sea lift command ships, three Coast Guard cutters, and two NOAA research ships calling it home. In 2020, the Coast Guard actually purchased an additional 166 acres to construct a super base to bring in more Coast Guard assets to the area. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Over 50 military commands call Charleston home. This is a military city and will remain that way for the foreseeable future. Next, Charleston is an incredible national and regional tourism destination. It's a wonderful place to visit. When I say national tourism, it's mostly residents from other states and even countries coming to check out the historic charm of the city. Regional tourism typically means South Carolina residents, usually from the upstate, who come to visit the city or the beaches for a short period, maybe a day or a week. US News and World Reports recently ranked Charleston as the number one best we can get away city in the South. The Southern Living Magazine ranked it as the top city in the South. Even Condé Nast Traveler, which is a popular travel website, ranked Charleston as the number one city in the United States in 2023. Charleston repeatedly tops its annual list, with Condé Nast noting its combination of history, culture, food, and its charm. Charleston is also one of the top destinations for weddings and bachelorette parties, although I know from personal experience that weddings can be pretty pricey compared to other areas here. Cruise ships even pull into Charleston. So you might be asking, so what? People visit Charleston. And yeah, they do, in droves. In 2023, the College of Charleston Office of Tourism estimated that 7 million people visit Charleston annually, which is up 2 million from 2015. That's a 40% increase in just eight years. For perspective, there are nine visitors annually for every one resident in the metro. The Office of Tourism also estimated that every adult spends on average about $1,000 per trip. Assuming 5 million adult visitors and 2 million kids, that's approximately $5 billion that is pumped into the Charleston economy each year. And I have personally met a ton of people who chose to move to Charleston after visiting it. 
But that's not the point I'm making. The tourism industry is huge, one of the biggest in the American South, and people move to Charleston to participate in the tourism sector, whether it's in restaurants or hospitality or the myriad of resorts in the area. Next, let's talk about another major player in the Charleston economy and why so many people move here. That is the Port of Charleston. What many Charleston residents themselves don't actually know is that Charleston is one of the top 10 largest ports in the entire United States in terms of TEU, or 20-foot equivalent units. Its 2022 ranking put it at number 8, just ahead of Oakland and just behind Seattle. A 2023 study released by the South Carolina Port Authority claims that the Port of Charleston and other smaller ports in South Carolina account for over 260,000 jobs in South Carolina that are either directly or indirectly related to the shipping and transportation industry. The impact of the Port of Charleston cannot be understated. In fact, between 2011 and 2022, South Carolina spent over half a billion dollars dredging the port from a depth of 45 feet to 52 feet total. This was an incredibly important project to help the Port of Charleston remain relevant in the coming decades as cargo ships keep getting larger and larger. And lastly, let's talk about r, &R. No, not rest and relaxation, even though many people will find that here in Charleston. What I mean is remote and retirees. Since the pandemic, the shift to remote work has been profound. Many people move to locations that they love or that have a quality of life that's consistent with their values. As a realtor, I have helped countless clients relocate to Charleston for this reason alone. And while we do have a state income tax, our property taxes are incredibly low, among the top 10 lowest in the country. I actually made a video that describes just how low they are, link in the description down below. The fact that Charleston International Airport has dozens of direct flights to major and minor cities also helps the case for remote work. Breeze Airlines, which is a new budget airline, actually calls Charleston its hub and has expanded to dozens of markets across the country. From low property taxes to a large airport, Charleston is a great place for retirees. About a quarter of Charleston's residents are older than 55. Charleston offers a temperate climate for all but a few months of the year, and we have a similar or even a lower cost of living as the most popular cities in Florida without the insurance woes. Charleston has a plethora of 55 plus communities at all different price points. So that's Charleston. The population continues to grow about two to 3% every year. People love the low country. I count myself so blessed to call it my home. If you're looking to move here, feel free to shoot me an email or shoot me a text. My contact information is in the description down below and I'll see you in the next video.